What's up guys, this is H3 Games, or Alex, and welcome to my new show. It's not really a show because there is no schedule for it. Whenever one or two um, interesting, sad, breaking, mostly breaking news appears um, in the gaming world and the non-gaming world, I will um, talk about it, give you my two cents. Stuff like that. No politics on this channel. I'm sorry. People don't watch gaming for politics. I'm I'm very interested in the elections. I live in the UK though, but I'm still I'm still interested as I do visit America often and I am part American US passport, so I am zero British. I just have the accent. The accent. Um the game on your screen is Super Meat Boy. The further you go, the more it you start to kind of realize the similarities it has with the get games like Binding of Isaac. Um, it's almost uncanny, but very quirky developer Edmund McMillan. He makes um, it's like three pounds, I think. Binding of Isaac's like three pounds. This is like twelve, and I mean people seem to prefer Binding of Isaac. So it's your choice what you pick, and I'm failing on this level. I'm I'm bad, but I learn quickly. Let's put it that way. I know what I have to do now. So, you know, blood is the theme of this game if you didn't fucking notice. So the two topics today are the World of Warcraft Massacre, the Happen Realms by hackers, their defense and my opinion on their defense and the massacre. I am not a WoW player, so, and this is a completely um, subjective opinion. It, I'm not generalizing, just disclaimer. Anything I say that may sound like a generalization, it is definitely not. I do not generalize. I hate generalizations. I am prone to make a couple, but I I have justification. Let's put it that way. Generalizations are never a good thing. Um. So, and the Amanda Todd incident. If you don't know, I'll talk about the Amanda Todd incident. Let's talk about the World of Warcraft Massacre. So, hackers um, killed thousands in a World of Warcraft Massacre. There's an article on CNN, NBC, Kotaku. I can't believe NBC are, but, you know, World of Warcraft has become a cultural thing. It's much more accepted than it was. Obviously, if you've seen the Colleen's World, Colleen's World smear campaign, you'll notice that it's not 100% accepted. But I'll talk about that in maybe another episode. Um, so, the hacker's defense is, well, at least we don't, you know, ruin the ruin the market and just inflate the economy by selling gold and the big Japanese businesses that just farm gold and sell them to make massive profits they're the ones that are ruining the game not us it was a small there was no um, long-term there were no long-term consequences to our actions we only did it for a bit of fun you know that kind of stuff all right I see your point but that no just no if I say, if I go and rob a, let's say I go and, um, kill a man. I go out and kill a man. It's not a perfect analogy, but go out and murder him. Completely dead. Obviously, he's completely dead. Are there different levels of dead? Um, so murder him. Then, in the court, I say, well, he was a bad person. At least I'm not, you know, I'm not mass murdering. At least I'm not you know, robbing banks, at least I'm not killing people, at least I'm not raping people. It's not. You One bad action does not justify a lesser action. If I say, oh, you know, at least I'm not blah, 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 that doesn't mean that your action is not wrong in the first place. That's my two cents. Anyway, the Amanda Todd incident. Okay, this is the story. There's a video online of her right before she died. Her parents are backing this video in, on the fight of bullying. So Amanda Todd was um, went to his web chat one time, and they asked her. They asked her to flash her breasts, um, her boobs. She did. Um, I can't remember what age she was at the time. I think 15. So she did, and then she exited the web chat. A year later, a man contacts her on Facebook, saying he has all of her details. If she doesn't put on a show for her, that would be uh, strip tease. You know, I have no idea what this would entail, but this is what was written down on Amanda Todd's card before she killed herself. Um, 
I will text out the boob picture, the breast pictures, to everyone. Family, friends. She ignored it, and then, um, I think it was a couple months afterwards, police arrived at her door saying that the photos had got out. She was then subjected to bullying and verbal abuse, cyber abuse, you know, physic. No, I have not heard of physical abuse, but there is no guarantee that that was not uh, among the other types of bullying. And then, shortly before she commits suicide because of emotional trauma, um, she films herself um, saying why she's going to kill herself. A video death note. This is sad for many reasons. And I can't really cover them all, but my heart goes out to Amanda's parents and family and friends. And I'm just I'm just very upset that such a small thing could cause so much just by people not not really caring about someone else's feelings and not reaching out, not being empathetic, empathetic, putting themselves in her shoes. It's not a big deal. It's not a small deal that these that she had went into an anonymous web chat and showed her breasts, but it's not a big deal. Not definitely not big enough to bully her into committing suicide. Now, I'm not condoning suicide. I I feel sorry for Amanda, but I think suicide was the wrong option. But if you're in a serious state of depression, the wrong option is not really visible. The right option is not visible to you. So I want to tell you people, because I've been through a depression, I just recently got over it and I'm still fighting it. I've never been bullied, but I want to tell you that I know when people say being bullied, just tell the teacher. In a way, that's true, but people label you as like a grass or something, and that's wrong, that's socially unacceptable, but it's there, it's a social thing. And when you get into high school, all of your morals are overwritten by peer pressure. What I want to tell you is that it will get better, okay? It won't get better now, immediately, you won't get, wake up tomorrow, but it will get better, and... You have to embrace it. Alright, say this breast picture comes up. Embrace it. And by embrace, I mean don't go around flashing your boob, your tits at everyone. What I mean is, you have to accept it. Just say, you know, why, why is what I did as wrong as you make it out to be? Don't let yourself, sh don't show emotion. Because although it may seem like making a speech is a good thing, People in high school are bitches. They are ruthless dickheads who will stop at nothing. When they have their eyes on you, they will make you feel pain. I've never experienced this, but I've seen it happen around me. I've never endorsed it, yet I've never went in to stop it. And that's what you need. You need friends that will stop it for you. You need someone to hold on to when things get really bad. And that's how you get over bullying. It will, we won't get better, but know that if you cop out now, if you commit suicide, you'll never, you will die knowing that this kind of lifestyle. I don't believe in a heaven or a hell or a God, but I know that if I, when I die, I want it to be the happiest moment of my life. My thoughts go out to Amanda and her family, as I already said. It must be unbearable to go through this and I'll leave you with this if you want to commit suicide I'm not endorsing it I'm saying do not but if you're at the point of the war where you want to don't because if you do you're not only getting rid of your own life you're being incredibly selfish and unempathetic about people around you and I'm not taking any digs at Amanda she was probably an amazing girl, woman, but it's selfish to take your own life, and although I pray that no one in this world will ever come to a situation where they will not have to take their own life, it's not gonna happen. There are always gonna be people who are gonna try and kick you down.
don't let them. Just stand up and tell them to go fuck themselves. Because at the end of the day, you will always be better than them. Because you will never stoop to their level. Anyway guys, that's been H3 Games. If you liked my commentary and my two cents, be sure to subscribe to my channel and Smash Club Gaming. Like the video, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on both of these events. Peace off.